Hello YouTube and welcome to an all new Elder Scrolls lore video. Today on an animal which is to be fair one of my favorites in the games. The majestic Chubloom. These almost penguin like creatures have a story to them and I will tell it to you today. So let's get into the lore. So the Chubloon, a penguin-like creature which according to the lore book The Mystery of the Chubloon quote unquote serves no purpose. But their story is a bit more interesting than you may think because yes, just like penguins, they waddle around cutely, they dive into the oceans and swim there to get fishies. And just like penguins on cold days, they huddle together as a group uh, to provide each other warmth. Very cute, but there's more to them than just they are cute penguins. For starters, these stud-legged flightless creatures live on the northern coast of Tamriel, with the standard Chubloon with its black and white feathers and dark beak making its home on the rocky cliff coasts of northern High Rock and Skyrim. There are other variants of the Chubloon which exists as pets for you to buy in the Elder Scrolls Online Crown Store, which both originate in the lore from the more southern parts of the High Rock coast. Although we do not encounter them in the game. These are the Hay Crown Chubloon, which has the color scheme of an Emperor Penguin, just like with the little crown on its head. And the Fell Brown Chubloon, which has brown feathers and a blue beak. Um, now these two variants are apparently extinct, because we don't encounter them anywhere else in the game, except for in the Crown Store as pets. Now, the more interesting and final variant of the Chubloon to exist in the game is the Abmoran Chubloon, which has all white feathers and a blue beak, which is perfect camouflage for the icy tundras of Admora. And this variant of Chubloon actually gives us somewhat of a hint as to their origins, as we learn from the book The Mystery of the Chubloon, that before the start of the Second Era there are no records of any Chubloon existing on Tamriel, and that one day they just showed up in historical records as a species. And they apparently have come from the sea when they suddenly started to show up, likely having migrated from Admora, uh, which is the ancestral home of most of the human races and a continent currently experiencing an ice age of sorts, as it's been completely frozen over and no humans remain there. And perhaps that's why the Chubloon also eventually migrated, as thousands of years after the humans migrated, perhaps it became even colder and the seas became so inhospitable that even the fish that the Chubloon eats maybe might not survive there, which is maybe why the Chubloon might have migrated to the south, to Tamriel, but that's just speculation on my part. But we do know that despite the Chubloon being quite clumsy on land and literally unable to defend itself against, well, basically anything, it disrupts entire ecosystems, as in the sea it's one of the best fish hunters of the north, Meaning that other species living from the ocean's fish suddenly had a lot less to eat when the Chubloon suddenly shows up. This is why once a colony of Chubloon establishes itself on the cliffs of a part of the coastline, for example the Hawkers of Tamriel, despite being a thousand times stronger than the Chubloon, get forced out of the habitat as they have far less fish available to them to survive as the Chubloon managed to efficiently hunt down the fish that the Hawkers might have otherwise eaten. And while a logical solution for the Hawkers might be to just, you know, start eating Chubloon. That ain't happening as the Chubloon are far more agile in the water than Horkers and are just very hard to catch and their nests are on high rocks and cliffs meaning that the Horkers can hardly reach them. So the Horkers get supplanted in the ecosystem and are literally forced out to move to other coasts. Now this does not mean that nothing can hunt the Chubloon because they are very clumsy. Because the orcs of Northern High Rock have been hunting these creatures basically since they arrived as they discovered that their grilled meat tastes really good with some moon sugar glaze and citrus. And here we have an example of them being not that smart and a bit clumsy, because while after some years they finally caught on to the fact that the orcs of Orsinium hunt them for their delicious meat, they don't run from any humans, Khajiit or Argonians or any other elves than the orcs for that matter apparently, and they just allow themselves to be pecked up and petted because they don't see humans or any humanoids as a threat except for the orcs which they started to see as a threat after years of being hunted by them. And thus hunting them for other races than the orcs is really easy because by now they finally flee for orcs when they see or smell one but the other races they don't really care about. 
Now, we don't really know much more about these creatures as I covered basically all the stated lore that we have on them, but there is some more information we should cover. Because first of all, there is a legend about Chubloons in the lore that they were once massive creatures, almost twice as big as human warriors. Back in the Mretic era on Edmora, that's basically when this whole massive stage of these creatures apparently took place, mighty warriors like Isgrimor wrestled these things as a challenge apparently, which could take a whole day to subdue one of the Chubloon for even the mightiest of warriors. That's probably just a legend and an exaggerated children's story, which probably originates from like warriors wrestling with some other mighty creature at the coast and then the story became distorted and the Chubloon somehow became involved over the years of oral storytelling. But still, it's an interesting story. And second, we don't really know what happened to them, because by the time of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, there are no more Chubloon on the coast. Uh, we don't know why, perhaps the Nords also called on to them being really delicious and just hunted them all down. Or perhaps, just like they migrated from Atmora to Temriel, the Chubloon once again mass migrated away, perhaps back to Atmora, as maybe by the time of Skyrim the continent has become habitable again for fish, and thus the Chubloon, as their source of food is back. But Considering that they're heavily based on the real-life Great Auk Penguin, which is extinct in real world, I think they are extinct by now, because that's what they were inspired by. But it's also possible that they are not extinct and that the creators simply picked this type of penguin as their inspiration, because not many would recognize this type of penguin as a regular penguin, and thus they would become a bit more distinct for the Elder Scrolls world. We don't actually know what kind of choices they made on that. But they are heavily based on this penguin type, with many of its mannerisms and its habitat being identical, so it's not a great stretch to think that many of the traits that we don't find in the lore in the Elder Scrolls for the Chubloon, such as its procreation method, are simply the same as that of the Great Auk, because that's what it was inspired by. So, if you for some reason want more headcanon lore on the Chubloon, which is probably correct, check the Wikipedia page for the Great Auk, as it's basically the same creature. And with that said, it's everything I can say about the Chubloon, and I really hope that you learned something, and if you did, consider returning for the next Elder Scrolls lore video. I don't know on what yet, but it's probably going to be better than a penguin. <laughs> that being said, all that rests me now is to vocally thank my top Patreon supporters, Mr. Bernardo Binda, Gabriel Binda, Polaris Putin, Athena Hyotis, King Chris, Bulge, Scrap of the Scrolls, Doji, Fenrir, Sword of Bushido, Rakai, and Mr. Christmas. It's thanks to these people and all the others on screen that this channel stays alive, and for that I am very grateful. That said, I hope to see all of you in the next Elder Scrolls lore video. Bye-bye.